Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith, and today we'll look at verses touching on whether heaven can contain personal closeness and intimacy. These are things that can sometimes happen in the world, but are they allowed in heaven? One reason why they might not be allowed would be if they were evil things. For instance, The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I give testimony of it that the works thereof are evil. John 7.7 7. The thing is, however, that works of the world are evil not because they're in the world, but because human beings tarnish them with sin. We know this because of how God viewed the world before sin existed. And God saw all the things that he had made, and they were very good. Genesis 1, 31. If works in the world were good before sin and evil afterwards, the deciding element must be sinfulness. With sinfulness removed, therefore, there's no reason to think that our works would be evil. One thing that the Bible talks about quite a bit, which is closely connected to the issue of intimacy, is marriage. And marriage does seem to have significant limits. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be in one flesh. Therefore now they are not two, but one flesh. Mark 10, 6-8 The duration of a marriage is specifically linked to the flesh of the body, so that when the flesh dies, so does the marriage. We still remember this in the marriage vow, which states, Till death do us part. So we know that marriages in this life won't carry over into the next. Furthermore, in heaven, there won't be any more marriages between people. For in the resurrection they shall neither marry nor be married, but shall be as the angels of God in heaven. Matthew twenty-two thirty. And Jesus said to them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they that shall be accounted worthy of that world and of the resurrection from the dead shall neither be married nor take wives. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal to the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Luke twenty thirty four to 36 However, it's far from clear that intimacy and closeness will also be eradicated along with marriage. Nothing in these verses suggests anything like that. In fact, with everyone in heaven being completely free from sin, it doesn't seem that you would even need a vow to encourage faithfulness. The saints will be loyal and faithful to each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. However, there is another important party in all of this. And Jesus saith to them, Can the children of the marriage fast as long as the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. Mark 2.19 In this verse, Jesus directly compares the relationship with God to a marriage, and it's not the only time he does this. This shows that the closeness of the saints to God comes first, and really, there's not much reason to desire the closeness of anyone else on top of that, because God is perfect, able to provide whatever his spouse needs to be happy. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make also that which is within? Luke 11.40 These words of Jesus remind us that just as God can provide food, clothes, and shelter to satisfy our basic needs, so he can also make things within, which are needed to satisfy the longings of the human soul, like companionship and intimate closeness to someone else. Heaven is the ultimate fulfillment of this desire and all others. Next, do those in heaven have great pleasure? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.